Hello everybody, welcome back to Polygon Media. I am Exlogus Killer and uh, yeah. I played uh, No Man's Sky, which the game, from what I um, understand, is... Um... Let me get my words out real quick. <laughs> from what I understand is No Man's Sky is that you're a survivor from a crashed ship um, or crashing your life, like memory loss or something. I don't really understand that part of the story. Um, and then you need to, the main quest is about trying to locate this, um, uh, I, I, can't, I can't say this word. Anomaly? Anomaly? Yeah, anomaly? Uh, uh, it's something like that. It's one of them words I struggle with. Uh, and then you need to, like, Mine things are mine laser, you know, the game's very, uh, very thought out actually, I quite like the idea of it, I like your mine trees get carbon, the stone get ferrite, you need to combine all these things, a refiner, and then with that, you know, you make different kind of like, make pure ferrite from that, and then it's like, you have to help build up your, 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 English, you use that to repair your ship, and unlock other things like your base, um, base location, your save beacon, and amongst other things, and then you have to then be able to go in the ship and then travel throughout the stars. Um, so what I do like about it is when I was in the ship is that it's real time flight. Like if it says like it takes like two days to get there, that game is online. If you just do regular engine, it will take you a literal 48 hours to get there. So the game works in traveling time. Real, the travel in the game is real time. That's what I like about it because it's like. It shows how big the game is. So, and the story is like, to understand is you built, let's say you built your ship, you guys have to find this anomaly, which um, it's like basically like a giant space station, it's like a like a, like a Death Star looking thing, like a B-Tech Death Star, um, with fucking Emperor Pepperoni in it, and. Um, yeah, well, I, I don't get that in this recording. I got, I, I played the game later on, and it was when I got there. Um, the game has like first person and third person view, and the game, uh, you have a life support, which is kind of like your general health, which I guess is just your oxygen. So eventually, it's always going to wear down if you take damage. It makes it go down even faster. Certain planets have certain biomes, some are more toxic then your um your toxic bars going down it's not like more um cold freezing like once I cough for a moment I was like hot before and like fucking freezing cold and then like yeah freezing bars going down you have to like then use a material I can't remember which one at the top of my head it is uh and you use that to refuel it and then you use oxygen to re-get your um obviously your health bar back so the game's really thought out, and I, I, I enjoy that about it a lot. But got I, I got the game because I had a friend that played Love Space. He loves space. I have a friend that loves space, and he came across No Man's Sky and was like, "Hey, yo, Locus." So like, I was like, "Yeah." And he was like, "We should play this together." And he explained to me a bit about the game because he played it a little bit before me. He explained it to me. And I was like, all right, then I'll give it a, I'll give, I'll give it a shot. Uh, little did I know that the first bit is like all like solo. So I got the game, I couldn't even play with him at first. Like, yes, I like, because he told me that if you do like a certain bit, it gets glitched. Like, your quest could get glitched. So I was like, you know, get up to this point before trying to like join me. And I was like, all right, then. That led to two days of playing the game. <laughs> um, but yeah, he played it in he loved space. He played it with him. And honestly, the game was really fun. I probably enjoy it. I enjoy it more than I thought. From the time frame that I played when I first experienced the game in that recording um, that you've seen in the background, um, I enjoy all the different types of animals and plants. Obviously, it must have like a name generator. Obviously, all the planet names, how big the game is, and um, there is a lot I enjoy. A bit too much, actually, because I'm Oh, so I enjoy space and the fact that you can like shoot asteroids and you shoot asteroids in space, you get gold or you get silver, you know, you get even tritium, you get even more like you know minerals out there. 
and then the space station, like the like buying hubs, you know, you get the, custom the customization of the game is also pretty, um, pretty good considering like how little options of customization there is. Com Actually, no, it's pretty, it's custom Actually, it's got, it's got some good customization options as well. I enjoy it as well. I, I personally prefer being the Gek. I don't know why. Just weird things like Gek and like weird bug creatures. Just, I don't know why I like playing as them. I don't know, I'm fucking weird. Um, and then like, yeah, I just enjoyed playing the game and I enjoy like, the money system's pretty easy as well, because you scan things and you scan it and then you get units, you get money, and then that's simple as, and you can go to the buying hub and you can buy things, and also you can just sell things as well, depending on the worth, you know? And then I like how the game has a mining laser, and it has a terrain manipulator, so you can like, flatten the ground, add ground, remove ground, you can do like all these sorts of things, just one little tool in your pocket, like imagine if we had fucking that in real life. I'd be out of a job. <laughs> so what do we need for bricklayers or labourers? Um, now I did have a couple of issues with the game. Now, the one being, honestly, it's not, like, I could join him, but my friend said, like, you know, you could get glitched the mission. So I, I didn't really enjoy the fact that I had to be alone for the first how long of playing the game. The game was, like, it's really fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Just, um, I'm not even going to try and say that word because I don't fucking know. Uh, difficult. It's not unique. It's just a unique. I can't say the word. Um... I like how unique it is and different, but it's like I don't like how there's not really a threat. Or well, when you play other game, and it, it does have a big grind fest, but this is like a grind fest on steroids. You got other grinding games like Atlas, you got Ark, you got I guess Minecraft can count as one as well. Now they got the grind. It's not as big as the grind you need. The grind isn't as big, and if it is big, you got like things that can help you in place. And then you've also got that threat of like monsters or dinos or fucking wild elephants or fucking snakes. But this one is just grind. And your biggest threat is your oxygen or a fucking plant that is just sitting there. So I wish there was a bit more of like a danger thing. Like the biggest danger I've come across um, is pirates. I mean, I need like a pirate ship that I was taking you on. You get money, you get loot, it's pretty easy, but they got harder as like, time went on. But you know, apart from that, you only come across them in space. So when you're, when you're on the planet, your biggest danger is like that and storms. I see storms, yes, yeah, storms do happen as well. Especially temperature storms, because you get. The temperature fucking nails you. The gameplay can. I found the gameplay in the game to be quite. It can be tricky. Um, there were times when I was thinking, like, shit, does this actually make any sense? Or, you know, like, and there were times when I was looking at the quest in the bottom right corner, something like the one pops up, and it pops up with a new one because it's a side quest, and it's like, it just keeps popping, and that doesn't help when trying to figure out what the fuck you have to do. Uh, and then also the controls um, are a, a little bit odd, like, the sprint button is right and the lock stick. Not left, which uh, I, I don't know. Like, uh, I, I could say it's weird, but then like I play Years of War and the fucking sprints fucking A, so I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know, but having like to me that seems normal an A button, but then having the right stick is like oh shit. <laughs> I'll definitely keep playing like I said, I have kept playing like I played that recording and I kept playing on even longer. So I come across pirates, I came across the anomalies for the main quest, which is like a giant fucking Death Star ball. Um, so the game is fun for me to keep playing, and also it's more fun when you're able to get to your friends after 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 you discover the the uh, English. Once you discover the anomaly, um, that's when you have less chance of missions glitching or whatever, and therefore you can join your friends. And it's actually a lot more fun. Um, so, I did actually enjoy that when you have to join your friends, because it actually adds, like, some of your friends have some things that you don't have, and you have things that they don't have, and so you're able to work together, and the building system's very nice as well. Similar games, like, I, I've, pl I've played, I've played a lot of similar games to this. Not really in space, but in the terms of, like, you have to grind things, and then build things, and then, like, craft things, and smelt things, anything like that. I have played a lot of them already like that. Like, Atlas, Ark, 
Minecraft. I can't think of any others after that. But yeah, I'll play games similar to it because I pretty much already do, already have for years. The game I would recommend to somebody if they like grindy games. If if, 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 if you don't like grindy games, then you're not like if you don't if you can't even do the grind on Minecraft Atlas and Ark, then you won't be able to do the grind because the grind the grind on No Man's Sky is a big, big grind. It is huge. So if you can't even do like the other three games, you can't do like big thing. But if you if you like if you if you can grind, if you can grind it is definitely a game I'd recommend, especially, especially if you love space. If you love space as well, if you love space, traveling and grinding, then this game is definitely a game for you. I would recommend it 100%. I haven't played it. I think there is. I, I can't remember. I think, I think there is other game modes, um, but I haven't tried them. I think I just tried the standard survival, which is like. Well, the standard single player. I think there was. I don't know. There is creative, which is just building. Um, so I might want to try it like, later. I think there was like another two which I just haven't tried. But um, it'll be interesting to see what they're like. The game is not a game I would enjoy replaying. Uh, purely for the fact of it's that much of a grind once you've done something once. Like, it's one of them games where you've done all the, you've done all of it that you wouldn't want to replay it again because like how because the main objective in the game is to get to the I don't, I pretty much I just remembered this is to get to the center of the universe I'm pretty sure and um, yeah in my current play from like eight hours in and I only just fucking. I'm eight hours in, I've only just found a new fucking home to live on on the planet, so... Bond the middle of the universe for now, so... I wouldn't really want to replay it, no, because I'd probably take like a hundred hours just to get fucking the center of the universe, let alone, um... Replaying it. Overall, though, I would say I enjoy the game. I do enjoy it. It's, it's one of them games that are hard to play by yourself, because it's just silence and you're just grinding, so you need somebody else in the party or somebody else there. Just to like help you stay entertained, but overall it is it is a oh, English dubstep. Overall, it is a good game. So yeah, I do enjoy playing it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm an A Circus Killer, and uh, yeah, please subscribe, comment, like, and um, also down below there is the link to the Discord channel and also the Twitch. I believe. <laughs>